Maria was 43 when she passed away, when she died, and um, she died after a, a fairly short illness that turned out to be terminal. Both myself and Maria were completely non-religious, so when the funeral director um, came to the house, he asked us what sort of funeral we had in mind, and I had said to him, well, in actual fact, it would quite like a humanist funeral. I was quite surprised when I discovered that the first funeral I went to was my great uncle's, that it was going to be humanist because I didn't really know about that that was an option. The funeral director made it very, very simple because they already had a celebrant on their books and uh, he contacted her for us and then she phoned me. A funeral celebrant is really somebody who's there to help the family give the best goodbye or farewell to the person that they've lost. I have to be a rock for the family. I have to be the person that they can rely on. It was so very simple. We talked about Maria. She took copious notes. She looked at pictures. She took away the piece that I had written about Maria. And she also asked if there was any other family members, either Maria's brothers or sister, or anybody else that wanted to say anything. Family members might write a shorter tribute, sometimes which they speak themselves or which they would rather I speak on their behalf. So instead of having an order of service, I wrote a piece of poetry, got a really nice picture of Maria and printed it out. I like the fact that they were focusing on the things that they'd done rather than, you know, what they were going off to do. And from what the celebrant wrote, it was as if she knew Maria. It's my job to work out what order would be best, so who would speak when, who speaks next, when the poems would come. The things that I most enjoyed about the services were the music and the readings. It was very much, this is what we can do, what do you want? At my aunt's funeral there was a, a sort of moment of reflection, as it were, halfway through, and a piece of music was played then. Um, so that was quite a nice touch. Everybody was kind enough to say that the ceremony was beautiful. It was serene and that it was very inclusive. You should have the choice to have it how you want and I think it's great that there's a service that, that offers that. It's about the person that's now gone that you want to celebrate, you want, their, you want the best memories of that person. I can't imagine any other institution in the world who are used to doing things like this saying, is this exactly what you want me to say? And it's like, it was great.